Alrighty, righty, ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? So I have jumped into a very cheeky mission, and uh, well, we're going to be taking this cheeky weapon for a spin because, well, you know, it's a very, very funky weapon indeed. So I want to use it on encampments. Now, the, this encampment mission is giving a hundred plus uh, legendary perk up. So uh, as you can see here, oh my lord, have mercy upon their self. Absolute poor savages. Oh my. Excuse me. If we could just uh, chill out for a moment. That would be fantastic. Now I do have a very nice build on. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to be like utilized. Because I uh, don't really know what this weapon is capable of. <laughs> Whoa. Did he really just do that? Maybe if we pop that there. Yep, absolutely eaten. Yum, yum, yum. He is literally teleporting around. Literally teleporting around. What a lunatic. And uh, as for the other husks, I don't know where they've gone. Where are they? They're this, These are not part of it, are they? If they are, I want them to be eaten. Are we done yet? Why is this one taking so long to do? Hmm. Is he the last one? It looks like he was, and it looks like the second round of husks are finally here. So let's send this beautiful shot. There we go, and can we send another one? Yes, we can. Dilly daddy doobly doobly. Doesn't seem to be as useful or as quick as the Xenon bow with Stoneheart Pharah. But I think maybe if you have four people running it, it could get kind of wild. Anyway, let's make our way over to the next one and see what kind of damage we can do then. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm hmm Here we go. Let's just send this one then. Okay, cool down. Cool down. Cool down. Let's send another. Let's pop that one there. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. And we'll pop this on the floor there. Run over to me, fiends. Ho, <laughs> ho, ho. Easy bird jangles, eh? All right, let's get another one. We'll throw that there. Wait for that cooldown. As soon as that one's done, we'll pop another one over there on the Misty Boy. And he has been absolutely obliterated. Excuse me, you seem like you're having some trouble here. Let me help you out. There we go. And uh, I should probably <laughs> not use my pot shot like this. Uh, okay, let's just do that. I really shouldn't be doing this, but why the frick not? Pot shotting and zapatroning all of these scoundrels. Let's freaking go. Oh, that one is done. And uh, oh, nice. The next one is right over here. We are going to pull out the Xenon bow to deal with these freaking scavengers, though. Mm hmm. Yeah, you feel me? Let's get a turret up also. And then we'll do that. Bang. Excellent. Mm. Oh! Mama Sita be throwing the damage. We hit him pretty damn high. He's like 140,000 willy nilly. All right. I can rock with that. I can rock and riff with that. You know what I'm saying? Let's throw another one like that. Wait for the cooldown. Then we'll send another one like this. We'll just camp inside of it. Any of the husks that try and touch me will be obliterated. And it looks like our health is staying pretty damn high. Oh, thanks to our survival that we have on survivalist jonesy which is very good i will uh, bring you back once we get to the higher level encampments which will be just after this next one and uh we will absolutely oblit what the damage is like there i'm i, I mean we're gonna oblit 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 the enemy obliterate right uh next one where the frick is it though ah oh, it's over here let's go all right, so we just did the next encampment, and uh, now we are set up for the supers. Now, I'm not going to lie, I just used my Xenon Bow, and uh, things went pretty damn quick. Xenon Bow still seems to be the matter. I don't even have my Stoneheart Pharah or build on for Stoneheart Pharah. Um, so that's kind of interesting that it's still so freaking bloody amazing. But the Xenon Bow is 
by far the best weapon in game and uh, obviously this pistol though it's just broken. That's why we're using it. Because um, I'm not going to lie. It seems really cool. What you could definitely do is throw a shot like that. Switch over to the Xenon bow. Throw another shot. Then throw one of these. Okay, if I could uh, hit that. Oh, look at that survival come in. Oh my days. These poor souls. Alright, and there we go. Switch back over to this one. Let's throw another shot. Back to the Xenon. Boop. 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 And then this one has cooled down. So we throw a nice shot. There we go. Juke the husk with a little fall down. Little drop shot. Bang, bang. Switch over. Xenon bow switches be stacking. Back over to this. What are we saying? I think this one right here. That was not what I was going for. 30 cellular ammo. Bye, bye. <laughs> I like the fact that this weapon only uses three, though. That's kind of crazy. I thought it was going to use a lot more. Um, but the fact it only uses three is really, really cool. Now, I don't know if having multiple of this pistol actually works against, like, cooldowns. Um, need a bit more bright core to make a few more of them, though. So, uh, won't be doing that too soon. But I'm sure we can go farm some up and we'll be just fine. Righty-ho. Here we go. Let's get a turret down. Slow field. And let's get this shot fired. Excellent. Right, over to the Xenon. Mm-hmm. There we go. And, well, that is very unfair for these very poor souls, isn't it? Then we throw that over there. Oh, my. Taking lots and lots of damage, but that's fine. Because as the next one spawn up, we just throw another shot like so. And our health is literally auto-regenerated. Wow. GG. No read to these freaking scoundrels. There we go, Mr. Riot Shield over there. Oh, yeah, this is obviously going to smack through the Riot Shields as well. Right, I want to load up my next shot. Load it up. Here we go. Bang, and over to Xenon. This combination's pretty sweet, though. There we go. Do that once again. That literally just sends them all to the Nether Realm. Oi, oi, Shielder, goodbye. And that is another encampment down. Over to the next six minutes to go. Speed run. Now, I was in this game of, like... I think it actually... Wait, didn't they degrade the time from 20 minutes to 15 minutes? Because they know it doesn't take 20 minutes. Hmm, maybe so. Right, let's, uh, let's jump over here. Oh my god, these skills. Excuse me, teammate. I'm not entirely sure how you did that. Here, I've got you. Don't worry, friend. Okay, let me just do that. Then we'll get... The okay, you can accept your death. And we'll throw another one over here. Switch over to this. Bang, bang, baby. I mean, we're still hitting like 400Ks. 400Ks with the Xenon bow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's still so strong. Oh, here we go. Excellent. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't see what's going on. I'm surprised. I wonder how many people's games crash because of this weapon. Load up a next shot. Here we go. Beautiful. That sets up the rock and rift for the xenon bow. Easy peasy. And we just... <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Soul Taker. My soul, you... My soul, my, my soul, you shall not take. All right, let's load up the next shot. Here we go. Just going to pre-fire. Bang. Maybe that was a bit too premature. Whilst we wait for them, them geezers to... Okay, well, well, that was actually the last one. All right, well, over to the final encampy. Here we go. Speed run around with the freaking... I'm so happy they reduced the time to pull out the board. Um, because, well, you know, it's just so annoying. It was so annoying. You know, when you try to pull it out, you get shot halfway through. Or your person would just randomly restart. Anyway, nine seconds. Here we go. Let's send this shot now. There we go. Boom shakala... Boom shakalaka. Oh, my days. Right, chop a slow field. Chop a slow field. Because they're getting a little bit rowdy. A little bit too much so for my liking. And uh, pop that over there. Back to this. Oh my days. Here we go. Let me grab that rock and riff. Okay. Oh, that looks like a big horde. That has been obliterated instantly. Right, let's get the cooldown. Then we'll send it this way. Boom. Oi, oi. You're on my noggin, but not for long. And that is them down taken care of. Okay. Load up the next shot. 
One, two, three. Boom! Oh, okay. That's what we like to see. Big clear on the doomsday. Let's pop that there, shall we? Oh, my days. Man just got sent to the abyss. I see you down there. I'm not going to leave you because, well, you know what they're like. They just wander around and let the game be prolonged for far too long. But there we go. Absolutely wonderful wreckage. wonder how much damage we got. A combination of the Plasmatron pistol and the Xenon bow. Mm. Old Edgy over there. Coming in with a 5k. And then third place, we have SRW Dosada with a 2.7. And then in last place, we have the lady who kept going down with the 1k. Ugh. Obviously, they, they're they still trying to understand how to play this game. But that's fine. They're only in Twine Peaks. They've still got much to learn, haven't they? But uh, fantastic. Let's go grab our loot. And then I will just show you the build that I was using. All right. We take that loot. 21 thousand mm, ten thousand all right easy battle pass xp danger in the mist show me some reaper what about the air itself it's filled with husks i died wow whoa slow down there give me all the xp mine easy gold and x-ray tickets oh yeah should probably check out the old-fashioned daily shouldn't we start working up saving up them x-ray tickets to get them gold survivors but a hundred legendary perk up which is why we pretty much done that mission and also to play around this was the build i was using might not be the most effective but for, do not forget i don't actually have the greatest uh heroes in the game i do have like literally the best stoneheart feral build i started at the perfect time literally to get her and uh, she is by far the absolute best uh obviously obviously second to base kyle but um yeah I, I don't have like all the heroes in reality you want stuff that boosts energy damage i don't know if the builds actually work though at the moment given how cracked the pistol is and when i say cracked i mean like broken but uh yeah so locked and reloaded fuel for the fallen uh of a survivalist and fuel for the fallen would just give me top tier energy the whole time round i tell you what would be funky using the shock tower along with that weapon i think that would be absolutely filthy sub wafers you don't obviously need to use i only have two characters for totally rocking out minus uh breakbeat speaking of that i could have used fumble Actually, that might have been the way to go. Like using this as my main hero, older uh, hero. Um, because, well, he would give us an additional... Doesn't get additional damage, just a higher chance of picking up the footballs. But we didn't need that, given the fact that we were playing Battle Beat and we were getting Rock and Riff off the bat pretty much every single time. But, yes, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments down below what build you're using with the new Plasmatronic Pistol and uh, what you find seems to be working with it and giving it even more a buff than usual. And on that note, take care and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.